Going to school may not feel radical, but education can be a powerful tool for social change. Mary McLeod Bethune, an influential educator activist, recognized this more than most. Born in South Carolina in 1875, Mary was one of 17 children to formerly enslaved parents. She spent her childhood balancing work in the cotton fields with studying. After graduating from college, she became a teacher and moved to Daytona, Florida, where the black community was growing, despite the presence of the Ku Klux Klan. Mary knew that education was crucial to disrupting the cycle of poverty, racial discrimination, and lack of opportunity that dominated black lives. So in 1904, she founded the Daytona Normal and Industrial School, one of the few schools for black girls in the area, which grew rapidly. She went on to found the National Council of Negro Women, a prominent civil rights organization, which gained the attention of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who employed Mary as an advisor. Together, they set up the Federal Council on Colored Affairs, also known as the Black Cabinet, which guided the president on issues relating to black citizens. As director of the Division of Negro Affairs for the National Youth Administration, the first federal agency to aid black youth through education and career training, Mary became the highest ranking black woman in the federal government at the time. She served in many key roles during and after World War II, fighting for equity until her retirement in the late 1940s. Throughout her career, she emphasized her philosophy that providing opportunities for equitable education was necessary for achieving racial equality in America. She passed away in 1955 and is the first black woman to receive a statue in her honor on public land in Washington, D.C. How does education serve as a tool of social justice today?